Hey guys, I'm back with a video, and um, this video is going to be about the baby products that I've been using. Now, this these aren't the only products that I use, but I do use these on a daily basis. Um, um, let's just get into it. And I'm talking a little quiet because um, my daughter did just go down for her nap, and hopefully she stays asleep this entire video. Um, okay, so. The first thing that I want to talk about are um, pacifiers my daughter uses. Um, she did um, she did not like the regular pacifiers. She only liked the pacifiers you bring home um, with in from the hospital. Uh, these are it. Obviously, you bring home the blue the blue ones, but I had to go out and get a whole bunch more because I lost them. Uh, to be honest, that we had six plus the uh, weapon ups that we have, but we lost all of them, and now we are down to a few. I think I only have three without the animal attached to it, and two with the animal attached to it. Um, but with the weapon ups, uh, I got this one for her, and I got this one for her. Um, they sit on the chest. Um, they helped a lot around when she was younger. Um, now that she's grabbing stuff, she likes to like rip it off and go over the place, throw it, everything like that. Uh, with these, for some reason, she likes these more, especially when she's going to sleep. Um, you give them to her, she knocks right out, blink it over the, half the face, everything. She knocks right out with these. Um, she is teething though, so I catch her sometimes with it in her mouth, gnawing on it and stuff like that. But um, other than that, these are her go-to stuff. She does love these pacifiers. It's the holy grail for her, especially when it's time for um, her bedtime and to take naps. Um, since we were talking about teething, um, these are her teethers. Um, I do have more, but for some reason I cannot find them. I have um, the banana one with the bristles that looks like a toothbrush and I also have a uh, ring that you stick in the freezer and um, you give it to her like that and it's just like really frozen and assuming that it um, numbs the gums when she's teething and she, you know, chews out on it. Um, but she does have these. Um, she uses this side of this toy as a teething ring and she is all up into this. The only thing I hate about this is that once it hits the floor, there's fuzz all over it. Just looking at it, there's fuzz everywhere. But I don't know if you guys can see it, but there are bristles all around it. Um, she does love using this one. This is her go-to right now. Um, I do try freezing it, but I don't think it really freezes very well. I think it's just full-on rubber. There's no liquid inside, so it doesn't freeze. Um, it does come out cold so that, you know, when it's hot, like today, um, she can gnaw on it and it cools her down a little bit. Um, other than that, uh, since she is teething, I, she does drool a lot, a lot, so she wears the bibs. And I do think that she's getting, um, a tooth coming in. Um, another item that, uh, I've been, let me see... Alright, so this is one of the other items I've been using. I'm pretty sure everybody's heard of it. It's called the Outlet. Um, this is the box. Uh, I know a lot of people always say it, that, it, you know, it's something to have, that, um, ooh, I dropped something, that, um, it gives you that, that peace of mind, you know? And I know a lot of people say it, but it really does. Um, this is, this is the outlet, this is the base station, uh, this is a sock, this is the sock, I'm sorry, I was just checking on my daughter, <laughs> this is the sock, um, so you put it on her foot, and basically it monitors her heart rate and her oxygen levels. Now, the only reason why we got this was, well, first of all, I wanted to get it in the beginning because I just felt that I needed it, as in, 
with everything I have gotten. I've gotten a lot of stuff that I don't use, but this is something that I do use. Uh, it, you know, it, we had an incident because we didn't get this, we didn't have it in the beginning. We ended up getting it, I'm going to say about three weeks to a month that Esmeralda was. Um, an incident had happened where I thought that, you know, I think we really do need it. My husband ran out. He got it. He also got it with um, a wedge that I do not have anymore. I actually got rid of it. But uh, I wish I had it. We had that off uh, co sleeping. Um, she still does co sleep with us, but as of right now, she's been sleeping in her bassinet and in her um, pack and play. I haven't gotten the strength to stick her in the crib just yet. <laughs> um, but back to the outlet. So, what it does is it is white. And it's gonna show off because I disconnected the sock. There it goes. When it is white, it means that it's um, charging. Now, when I have the app here, and I'll show you what the app looks like. That right there, the blue owl is, well, oh, the blue owl, sorry, I was getting a phone call. The blue owl is the app. And I know it's going to say base station turned off, but that's what it looks like. And once you turn the base station on, this, the ring around it, will turn green. As you can see. But I can't keep it on for too long because it will sound the alarm. Now, the reason why it's going to sound the alarm is because this sock is not on there. Um, the sock will have to be on your, your child's foot in order for it to start reading... Um, start reading her vitals now there is a I want to call it like a USB like the flash drives but there is that inside of the sock where once you put it on you know there's a little groove right here where her pinky sits her pinky toes sit you stick it on and it's like that wraps around her ankles so it sits in place now I stick a sock on over this because she likes to kick it off so that's what that is about but as you can see, you know, it's like a little sock. Hangs out like that on top of her foot. And now, if something was to go wrong, like, um, the sock gets disconnected, like, gets unwrapped from her foot, a lullaby will go off. And that is a yellow to, like, goldish kind of color, cut, um, ring around this base. Now, when it's blue, blue means that Wi-Fi disconnection has happened and then when it and that also goes off with a lot of live sound now the light you do not want to see or the sounds that you do not want to hear will want it will be one it will be red and it will go off with a very loud siren sound and um it will go off until you come and you press it now that i pressed it it's green but i gotta keep it off because my husband's at orientation and I don't know if this falls on silent. <laughs> so there's that. Um, this did cost um, three hundred dollars. I got it. My husband actually picked it up, so it cost three hundred dollars. He got it from Babies R Us. Um, is well worth it. It does come with other size socks as the baby gets older. So right now she's in the second size, but there's also a third size which is much bigger and there's a newborn size which is smaller. So that's those. Um, backtrack real quick. The Webinubs and the single password. Webinubs are about $14. I got these both off of Amazon and the pack, these are, um, there's a two pack and they're about five bucks. Um, you get these from Walmart, Babies R Us, stuff like that. I know Babies R Us is going out of business, so I'm going to try really hard to see where else these all sell. And, you know, I know um, Target carries Web and Ups. I know that uh, Target also carries these, the single, um, the single uh, pacifiers at Walmart. These, we got, this is, came from... Um, 
Babies are us for five bucks. This I got from Amazon for three dollars. Now on to the next thing. I know you guys heard of the nose Frida. I know everybody's like, ew, but this thing is a miracle worker. Now, first of all, I had a bunch of these. Now, my biggest thing about this was that there was a day that I was suctioning my daughter's nose because she had junk in her nose. And I noticed black stuff coming out of her boogers. Now, I know that it was not coming from her nose. And I had my husband cut it open. And when he cut it open, there was mold all inside of this. Now, this is the reason why I do not use these anymore. <sighs> the nose Frida, as you can see, you can see inside of this. You can see inside. You can clean it. There's a filter that stops the boogers from reaching your mouth. Now, I don't know why people think that you suck up all the boogers in your mouth, you spit it out or something. That's not how it goes. So, that's that. You get refillers, which are these. My husband actually just got us a new pack not too long ago. And this is what it looks like. I already took a few out to clean her nose. But, you know, you pop them out. They come out like that. And, um, yeah. I think this was like, uh, I want to say four bucks. He got this from Walmart. Walmart does not sell... Actually, nobody sells the um, the saline solution. I really like that saline solution. Um, I'm going to say Amazon. I'll take a look. But um, I bought this whole thing in a pack where it came with the saline solution. It came with the refillers for the um, filter. And obviously, you just have to hold on to this and this. Now, this is super easy to clean out. Run hot water through it if you want to scrub at the tip because obviously, you have to put it here. And then you suck the um, the boogers out. And the boogers end up in there. So, you either rinse it out with hot water, which I do. And I also um, wash it out with soap and warm water. And with this part, you just wipe it down with um, alcohol. And you're good. Alcohol balls or something like that. And you're good to go. Um, I do have, I believe, um, there's also the high chair, which I'm gonna, um, and, uh, I'm going to talk about in a little bit, and also her glider that I'm gonna talk about in a little bit, but other than that, that's about it, um, I'm gonna show you the high chair right now. Okay, guys, so, this is... Another one of um, Esmeralda's things, uh, she actually started eating on her high chair at four months. Um, she started salads at four months, so she does use this high chair. Um, almost everything on here has been sh um, dishwasher safe. This piece comes off to use in the dishwasher, and she can also use this piece. Okay, um, this is an all-in-one high chair, so what I mean by that is, is that it does turn into a booster. This is the base that this will sit on, and this will go onto a chair, and, um, you know, you tie the, the pieces under the chair so it's fastened, and she'll sit in the booster. We also use, let this sit on the floor, uh, where she can have fun with the piece right there um, this cover here is actually machine washable but you have to actually wash it because she has strawberries on it the other day but um, yeah she uh, these pieces are very easy to um, clean this also comes off and becomes a uh, toddler booster seat um, let me show you that There's buttons here okay Yep, and when she's older, she just sits right in there, and she'll push herself in over there, and she'll chill out. Um, and yep, it goes right in, both sides, there's a little button back here, where it maneuvers the back part. You can have it laid out, laid back like that, or she can set up completely straight. So yeah, and it wheels around, there's wheels, 
and the back wheels over here. There's a little latch here where you can break it. Um, this is a space saver too, so it actually folds. Let's see if I remember how to. I didn't get it to fold, but I did get it to drop more, so it does drop down some more. <laughs> um, but it does fold in half. These two pieces right here fold together. I think it's this part. Hold on, let me see. I was right. Okay, so it does fold just like that, fold right in half, and you can remove the seat and store it away. But um, other than that, that's her high chair. This one's also by Fisher Price, and I believe it came from um, Babies R Us. And like I said, I will put this um, down below in the description section, and um, I hope I could find it. But um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, guys, that's Esmeralda. Hi, Vivi. Okay, so this is the glider. I know she is a big for it, but this is the only thing that actually puts her to sleep when I'm by myself with her. She loves to be in your arms, but sometimes she just doesn't. Um, but this is the glider. Um, it does come off, and you just put it to the side. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but... All you have to do is hit this button and it just starts moving her back and forth. You like that, baby? <laughs> yep, just rocks her on your side. Um, nothing is, it does twist. So it does a 360 all the way around. So it will go side to side if that's what your baby favor side to side motion or front to back motion but um, it also has how fast oh no this this is how fast you want it to go or how slow you want it to go or it completely stops as you can see and then how loud you want the music how low you want the music and you can also change it something a little soothing different song a different song she was in this a lot when she was a baby this is where she slept that night <gasps> what are you doing in there but um yeah this is the glider um let me show you real quick how it comes apart But, um, other than that, that's about it. Right now, she does sleep in the pack and play. I do love this. And she also has the jumperoo. She only lasts in it for about 5 to 10 minutes. She really, she does love it, but she only lasts in it for that long because she does love to be on the floor rolling all over the place. But, other than that, um, I'll be back with more videos. I'll be doing a 5 month update. Um, she'll be turning six months next week, actually, on the 13th. Um, but other than that, thank you so much. And I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. And please like the video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Say bye, baby. Say bye-bye. Come on. Say bye-bye. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Say bye bye, baby. Say bye bye. Come on. Say bye bye. <laughs>
Alright guys, have a good one, bye.